I was never the one to even think about raising a dog. Maybe a cat or two once I'm rich and well. I'd always dream of having two cats, one black male and the other white female. I already had a name for them as well. Shiro, meaning white in Japanese, and Kuro, black in Japanese. But never a dog. And not particularly at the time when I'm living in a 500 square feet apartment, which is already occupied by two grown up men. But it happened. I am now the owner of a pup named Milk. And there's a reason he happens to be the one, not just any other pup. But that's a story for another day. There are a few things that changed after I got Milk. First, he'd follow me everywhere I go. Whenever I come to the story room to work, while I'm cooking dinner at the kitchen table, when I go to bed at night, and when I'm about to... No, no. Second, he would always wait for me by the front door bathroom door and study room door third this one I'm not so sure but it looks like he's trying to guard me from some unknown enemies as he'd sometimes lie down facing the outside direction of whatever room I'm in but I don't know if he's capable of becoming a watchdog it's as if he's saying need protection but not today. I have always known that owning a dog comes with some crucial responsibilities. One must feed him, walk him. Good job. Good job, Milk. Pick up after him, wash him. Play with him. Brush him. And let him lick your face until, well. Such responsibilities were one of the reasons why I stayed away from the thought of keeping one. And to be honest, I was a little stressed out when I brought Milk home for the first time. For a person who spent a lot of time alone, adopting a puppy meant that I didn't have the privilege anymore. It's almost like I suddenly had a baby of my own. But now, that it's been almost two months since I got him, I don't think twice about it. Why? Because he makes all the chores worthwhile. It's hard to put this feeling in words, but it's kind of like he feels that empty space in me with fluffiness. I don't feel alone anymore, which I'm technically not. Instead, it's easier to get motivated and get going now that there's a creature that depends on me and only me. I just want to give him the best he can get. And once you have your own, you too will understand what I mean. And I'm sure you wouldn't regret a single day that you have a little magnet following you around as you watch him grow and do things he couldn't do before. Even if you're never the one to even think about keeping a dog. Trust me, they really change your perspective on things. Oh, and in case you didn't notice, we also adopted a kitten named Coco. Come check him out in my next video.